going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender? Major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. What really matters during the ball game, you realize that what comes out of our mouths starts in our hearts. Jesus says in Matthew 12 and verse 34, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. When you hear somebody talk, when you see their attitude, when you hear the words they use, it tells you something about what's on the inside. Let's use our words today to build up, to encourage, to strengthen, not to be derogatory or to tear down. And that message brought to you by your friends at the Leoma Church of Christ. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931 201 so we can help you make the switch today. Articare keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air. When you need us, we'll be there. Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg has a legacy of being a family-owned and operated company. Since 1927, our business has grown and evolved into today's one-stop source for all your automotive supplies. But in that time, one thing has stayed the same, and that's our commitment to our customers and their needs. At Volco Auto Supply, you'll find everything for your car, truck, or even fleet of vehicles, but with good, old-fashioned customer service the way it needs to be. That's Volco Auto Supply, 416 Buffalo Road in Lawrenceburg. Visit VolcoAuto.com. LUS is committed to our customers, from providing and maintaining energy-efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too.
As a business owner and a supplier of pressure treated materials, we have customers all over the country. But the relationships that I'm most proud of are the ones in our own community, the people that I serve, that I meet at Walmart, that I run into on the weekends. Those are the ones that I'm really proud of today. When we started Finley Fence Supply almost 15 years ago, we decided to build our business on three core values, quality, value, and service. And Old South uh, has proven to be a, a great partner. Their values match ours. Uh, their quality is great every time. We, by using Old South material, we can give our customers great value for their money and their service is unsurpassed. Anything that we need, they are Johnny on the spot to supply us. It's been a great partnership with us and Old South. This is the X Sports Network. Had to get my headset on. Welcome back here to Summertown High School as we're here for the next game of the winner's back bracket, the first game, as it will take on, it will be Summertown versus South Lawrence as Hayden Burke's on the call with Ava Scott Garland and Kevin Wright. And Summertown defeated Leoma to get to this point. South Lawrence defeated Hampshire yesterday. Once again, this is the start of the winner's bracket. The winner will move on to play at 4 o'clock. They will play the winner of Cole Elk and Lewis County. And uh, Ava, this is a bit of um, very, get a, a game that everybody's been looking forward to. Just um, th these teams, obviously, they know each other very well. Just how excited are you for this game? Um, I think this will be a really, really good game. Two really good teams. Um, I know the first time they faced each other this season, South Lawrence won, and then Summertown came back and won the second game of the season. So uh, I think this will really be the tiebreaker between these two teams. So. Absolutely. As these two teams are two of the favorites to possibly win this. You can't overlook Kalioka, Lewis County, or Leoma, or no prospect. They're all still in at those six teams. And starting off for Summertown, it will be Phoenix back to serve. And the action is back on the way and starting off, South Lawrence will get the point. Never a good start in a game though. But it I think it most of the time at, at Lawrence County sometimes when we in our JV games when we miss our first serve, we usually have a good game. And right off the bat, South Lawrence jumps out to a two point lead over Summertown. As it's Addie Surratt to serve. Summertown on the far side of your screen in their blue uniforms. And South Lawrence will be on the near side of your screen in their black uniforms. As they tip it over, still up in the air. As Pettis tries to save it, point will go to South Lawrence again. Here's the serve as Cornelius underneath it. There he is, Atkins, and that'll be short. And we're going to have a timeout taken by Summertown quickly as South Lawrence jumps out to a 4-0 lead. We'll be back here on Next Sports Network. Hi there, everyone. This is Ann Marr with Colwell Banker Southern Realty. I want to say a great big thank you, Lawrence County, for voting me as your favorite realtor. What a huge honor this is to be voted this by my many clients, my friends, my peers, the people I love. I greatly appreciate all of you so much. I have loved working with many of you, some of you several times, and I look forward to meeting and working with many more of you in the future. I promise to give you 110% of my time, attention, and expertise to make your sale or purchase happen. Just give me a call at 931. They're watching. Hi there, everyone. This and back here on the Exports Network as Summertown takes her first time out of the first set. And South Lawrence leads the Lady Eagles 4 to nothing. Here's the serve by Surratt once again, Cornelius. And just like that, another race, five to nothing. Here's the serve once again. It's underneath it is Rupert as they look to get it over. Still up in the air, Cotton. Miffin sends it back over, be out of play. Summertown with their first point. It's five to one. Just 
Coming into the game will be Pusser. She will come in for us right back to serve will be Alex Rigsby. And as Rigsby will get it over the net, Boston Webb underneath it. There's Meffin. And Fisher will get it over the net. And that'll be just out of play. It'll go back to Summertown. That was a good try there, though, by Fisher to get, try and get that one. Trying to find the gap there. Summertown trying to get the kinks out. And here's the serve. Fisher underneath it. Cotton. As Augustine will just get it over the net. Putman underneath it. Here's Cornelius going for the kill. Tipped up. Still up in the air. Fisher with the diving save back over to Summertown. Good hustle by Fisher. So there's Cornelius still up in the air. Pusser. Meffin. Fisher will look to get over. Short of the net. Goes to the Lady Eagles. It's a two point South Lawrence lead. Here's the serve once again. As Pusser underneath it, Meth and Will set it up now. Here's Augustine. She will get it over the net. Still up in the air. As they will set it up. Cornelius going for the kill. And that's long. Point will go to South Lawrence again. Good back set by Meth over there on, on South Lawrence's side. Lily Augustine back to serve. So here's the serve as it's up in the air. Pettis. That's Rupert now, still up in the air. And back over to Summertown. So set up Cornelius, going for the kill once again. That's blocked by Fisher, still up in the air. Fisher going for the kill, still up in the air. Putman. As they look to get it over, Atkins. Part will go to South Lawrence again. Leads out to four. Here's the serve once again. Good Underneath serve. It. Yep. And that'll be tipped by Fisher. Still back and forth they go. Point will go to South Lawrence. Great job by Fisher to anticipate that one on the net too. Yeah, and compared to these past games, you can tell this one means a lot. As this gym is packed. There's a bunch of Summertown yes. fans, South Lawrence fans. Other teams still here waiting to play or just watching this game in general. As that point will go to Summertown as it was served in the net by Augustine. Here's served by Cornelius. Augustine underneath at Meffin. Here's Cotton. She will get it over the net. That's Rupert underneath it. As they look to get over, Atkins. Meffin will set it up. Here's Fisher once again going for the kill. It'll be blocked by Pettis. Off for the point will go to South Lawrence. Here's the serve by Cotton. As it's Rigsby underneath it, tipped up. Point will go to Summertown. Good job by Putman on that one. Going back to serve will be number 13, Ellie Reese Atkins. And she will get it over the net. Cotton underneath it though, Meffin. Augustine will look to get over, short of that, goes back to Summertown, it's 9-6. to six. So here's the serve, up in the air, it goes to get over, Augustine tries to save it, not able to, goes back to Summertown again, as it's 9-7. to seven. Here comes the serve. They will get it over the net. Augustine. Meffin now underneath it. Fisher will look to get it over. Is up in the air for Summertown. Back to South Lawrence. Meffin will set it up. Webb going for the kill. Just showing the net. And it's 9 to 8. I like to see South Lawrence hitting those down balls and stuff from the back row. You don't see many middle school teams do that a lot. Here's the serve once again. Augustine underneath it. Meffin will set it up. Here's Fisher. She will just float it over. Tries to find the gap there. Still up in the air. Back to South Lawrence. They set it up. Back to Fisher. 
She tries to get it over. It's out. Point will go to Summertown again and ties it up at nine. Here's the serve. It's up in the air. Meffin tries to save it. Trying to make a play on it for South Lawrence. Fish will be able to do so. And Summertown, they set it up. Pettis going for the kill. And that'll be down for the kill. And Summertown takes the lead. Good hit there by Pettis. Summertown catching fire here midway. Their first lead of the game. Here's the serve once again, short of the net this time, and we're tied up at 10 again. Surratt will check back in for Pusser. Here's the serve by Meffin. It's be underneath it, and they will set it up. Pettis going for the kill once again. Meffin underneath it, as it looks like it will go back to Summertown. Pettis. They look to get it over, and that one goes to Summertown again. Great play there on Summertown's side. Good attack from Pettis on the right side. Here's the serve. And Augustine underneath it as they set it up. Fisher just floats it over the defense. Underneath it was Rigsby. Pettis looks to get it back over, and point will go to Summertown. As Fisher, I believe, was in the net there. And let the Eagles jump out to a two-point lead. Summertown's starting to get that spark they're going to need to be able to win this game. And make it a three-point lead after the ace. And we're going to have a timeout taken by South Lawrence as they trail Summertown. We'll be back here shortly on the Exports Network. Since 1955, Evers Construction has been the company folks have trusted for residential and commercial construction projects. Today, Evers is still the leader in building and is just as committed to maintaining. From residential to commercial and industrial, Evers' team of experts stands ready to install, service, and repair all your HVAC and plumbing needs. Specializing in leak repair, maintenance, air duct cleaning and repair, air handler service, drain cleaning, gas line work, emergency unit repair, inspections, and more. Evers Construction offers a preventative maintenance package to keep your home or business cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Trained, trusted, reliable. For more information or to schedule an appointment with the pros who know, phone 931-762-3593 or visit. And back here at Summertown, still up in the air as they try to save it. Goes back to Summertown as after the timeout, Lady Eagles lead 14 to 10. Here's the serve. And that was just out of play. Good recognition by Meffin to realize it was going to soar out of play. And here's the serve by Fisher. And that one sails long. And it goes back to Summertown. So here's the serve by Pettis. She will get it over. And trading points they go. And it's 15 to 12. Here's the serve. As it's up in the air. Good serve by Boston Webb on that one. As they look to get it over. Augustine now. Still up in the air and miscommunication point will go to South Lawrence. Now 15 to 13. Here's the serve once again by Webb. And that'll be an ace. So now 15 to 14. And if you're Summertown, you gotta think about a timeout, but then again, you only have one remaining in this set, so have to use it wisely. Here's the serve by Webb. She just gets over that and back-to-back -back aces. And it's now 15-all. 
Great service by Webb. She just has those low hard ones that just scam right across the net. Summertown struggling with her serves. And here's the serve once again. And that one just misses. And it'll go back to Summertown. They take the lead once again. Good job by Atkins to watch that one on the back line. So here's the serve. And just out of play on the left side. And we're tied up once again. Puster will check in for Surratt. Here's the serve by Pusser. As Cornelius, short of the net, they try to make a play on it. Goes back to South Lawrence, and they will retake the lead. Here's the serve. As underneath it, that's Rupert. As they set it up, looks to get over. Atkins. As Methvin will set it up. They look to get it over. Still up in the air. That was Augustine. Pumping underneath it. Cornelius looks to get it over the net. Meffin now. Fisher. As they look to get it over. Still up in the air, though, as they set it up. Cornelius once again going for the kill, and that's down for the kill, and it ties it up once again. Good set and then good hit by Cornelius on that one. Here's the serve. As Webb underneath it. Methvin will set it up. Augustine looks to get it over. Underneath it was Rubert. Still up in the air. Atkins going for the kill. As Methvin underneath it now. And that point will go to Summertown. They're going to call that one a lift. And with that, Summertown takes the lead. They lead 18 to 17 this first set. And as I say that, it's tied back up. Here's the serve by Augustine. Good serve. It's up in the air as they look to get it over. That's Rupert. Meffin underneath. They will look to get it over. Fisher. Still up in the air. They look to get it over. There's Meffin now. Augustine will get it back over to Summertown. And it's Putman. They will look to get over Atkins. Meffin sets it up. Here's Fisher, floats it over. Point will go to South Lawrence. As in the net was Cornelius. Augustine is served once again. So here's the serve. Augustine also has that low, hard serve that just goes right across the net. Here's the serve by Augustine again. And sails long, goes back to Summertown as it's a one point Lady Stallions lead. Here's the serve by Cornelius. Augustine Meffin able to save it. Fisher floats it over the defense. Still up in the air. Back over to South Lawrence. Meffin now. Here's Fisher going for the kill. And that's down for the kill. Point will go to South Lawrence again. Scores 21 to 19. Good hit by Shanna Fisher on that one. Here's the serve. As they get it over the net, that's Putman underneath it. Here's Pettis going for the kill. That's dug out. Fisher sets it up. Here's Webb. Rigby. Rigsby trying to save it. Still up in the air, though. And point will go South Lawrence against 22 to 19. And we're going to have a timeout taken by Summertown as they trail South Lawrence. As we'll be back here on the Sports Network. 
Professional care with a smile. That will always be a guarantee at Encompass Healthcare. Whether you're looking for primary or urgent care, x-ray services, or even weight loss treatments, our team is equipped to serve your needs. Our doors are open Monday through Thursday from 8 to 5. Make an appointment with our providers, Kendra Brown or Tori Cox, today. Encompass Healthcare, located on Highway 43 North in Etheridge, Tennessee, right next to Chapman Tire. And back here on the Exports Network, as Summertown has taken their final timeout of this first set as they trail South Lawrence 22 to 19. Here's the serve by Cotton. Cornelius underneath it as they try to make a save on it as they look to get it over, which they do. Method. Here's Webb going for it. That's blocked off a of pedestal. Point will go to South Lawrence again. Good hustle on Summertown side on that play. Here's the serve once again. Cornelius high up in the air. Pettis. Cornelius looks to get it over. Fisher. Methvin will set it up now. Back to Fisher in the middle. Going for the kill. Still up in the air. Blocked by Pettis though. As they look to go, Fisher will do so. He's up in the air. They will set it up. Looking to get it over. Long. Point will go to South Lawrence. Set point for the Lady Stallions. As Cotton will look to get it over. Rigsby, Putman underneath it. As they look to get it over, Pettis will do so. Augustine Schaefer, or excuse me, that's Fisher. <laughs> As they look to get it over, and down, point will go to Summertown. Good spot. Pettis did a good job on just tipping that one right over the blocker's hands. Scores 24 to 20. Back to serve will be Atkins once again. Set point still for South Lawrence. Here's the serve. Cotton underneath it. Meffin sets it up. Here's Fisher. She will be short on net. Goes back to the Lady Eagles. Leads cut down the three. South Lawrence one point away from taking the win on this set. Here's the serve. As it's up in the air, Fisher underneath it. As they look to get it over, Lily Augustine up in the air. Atkins, Putman will set it up. Here's Pettis, tries to flow the defense. Step in the air, though. Fisher looks to put it over. And miscommunication. And South Lawrence will take that first set, 25-21. to 21. As they lead one set to nothing, they're looking to close it out in the next set. That will be coming up next here on the Exports Network. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go-to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers, and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. 
Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals, owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds. Let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. This is the X Sports Network. And back here on the X Sports Network as South Lawrence won the first set 25 to 21 over Summertown as they look to move on in the TMSAA Area 13 tournament as starting off it will be Summertown with that point. Puster will check in. That's how Summertown started the last set with a missed serve so maybe the exchange wins this time. As Webb underneath it. Up in the air point will go to Summertown again. Like you said, it was just like this for South Lawrence. They jumped out to a quick five-point lead. And now Summertown looking to reverse that trend. So here's the serve. Fisher underneath it. Augustine. Miscommunication, though, still up in the air for Summertown. As they look to get it over. And that's down to a 3-0 lead for the Lady Eagles. Good job by Atkins to be able to read the court on that win and see the gap. As here's the start by Rigsby. Webb underneath it. Meffin. Here's Cotton, and she will look to get it over, which she will. Pettis underneath it. Putman now. As Pettis will get it over. Good Meffin job. underneath it. Here's Augustine, and that one is out. Goes back to Summertown. There's Surf. Webb underneath it. There is Fisher. And Augustine will get it over. And that one will be down. Miscommunication mm -hmm. on Summertown side. South Lawrence with their first point as they trail by three. As the winner of this game will play at four o'clock. They will take on the winner of Kolioka and Lewis County. The loser of this game will take on New Prospect at three o'clock. Putman will set it up as they look to get it over. Still up in the air, though. And it's floating up tip, and point will go to Summertown. Great job by Cornelius on that one. She was able to turn that ball to a gap where nobody was. And speaking of Cornelius, she will go back to serve as the Lady Eagles have a four-point lead in this second set. And it's up in the air. And with the ace, six to one's the score. Her first ace of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Here's the serve. Augustine underneath it. Meffin now. Puster will get it over. As Atkins underneath it. They'll set it up. Pettis going for the kill. That's off of South Lawrence. Point goes to Summertown again. And we're going to have a timeout taken by the Lady Stallions as they trail the Lady Eagles by six. We'll be back here shortly on the X Sports Network. And back here at Summertown High School, we're back after the first timeout taken by South Lawrence as they trail Summertown 7-1 in the second set. Lady Stallions won the first set 25-21. Here's the serve by Cornelius. And I'll be down for another ace. Great serve by Cornelius. That one just floated right in towards the back line.
As here's the serve. Webb underneath it as they will set it up. They look to get it over. Augustine, that is. As Rupert, they will set it up. And that will be blocked by Fisher. And it will go to South Lawrence. Good job by Fisher being able to anticipate that one right there and turn the ball. So here's the serve. Cornelius underneath it. Putman looks to send it back over. Swan will go to South Lawrence. Here's the serve. There's Rupert underneath it. Putman now. Rupert will get it over. Meffin punches it over for South Lawrence. High up in the air. Atkins will get it over. Meffin. Here's Fisher. She will push it over the net for the Lady Stallions as they set it up. Here's Pettis going for the kill. Long goes back to the Lady Stallions. It's 8 to 4. Cornelius will check out coming in for her will be number 20. That is Ava Howell. I think that's Ella, uh, Ella Stanley. Yep, yeah, that's correct. I, my names are all messed up on my sheet here. And I'll be short on that. Point will go to the Lady Eagles. So here's the serve as it's up in the air. As they look to get it over, Pettis, shoulder the net, goes back to South Lawrence. And the score is 9-5. to five. Here's the serve by Meffin. She will get it over. Rigsby. And they will set it up. Pettis looks to go for the kill. And that one's down for the kill. Point will go to the Lady Stallions again. Or excuse me, the Lady Eagles. Good hit by Pettis from the right side over there. Putman will go back to serve. And she will get it over. Augustine. There's Surratt. Fisher. Putman underneath it. Rigsby. As they look to get it over, Cotton underneath it. Here's Webb. As that one will be off Atkins point, will go to South Lawrence. Good job on South Lawrence's side, being able to end that play. Fisher to serve once again as she gets it over the net. And that'll be an ace. It's now 10-7. Here's the serve by Fisher once again. So underneath it was River as they set it up. Out of the reach of Pettis. Tries to make a play and down for the kill. Wow. <laughs> Good pass kill there by Pettis. And his point will go to Summertown. She was barely able to get to that yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> I was shocked she got a hold of that one. So here's the serve by Pettis. Meffin underneath it. And Surratt, here's Augustine. She will get over that Rigsby. And still up in the air. Putman will get it over. Fisher. As they set it up, here's Augustine for the kill once again. Still up in the air, though. As they set it up, looking to get it over. Short of that point will go to the Lady Stallions again. Boston Webb, a pretty consistent server. Back to serve again. Here's Webb. Oh. And short of the net, it will go to Summertown as Lady Eagles leagues out to four again. I think I jinxed her on that one. Here's the serve. And that one is so long. Goes back to South Lawrence. And it is 12 to 9. Buster will check in.
Here's the serve. Sits up in the air. And that will be Augustine with the point. As they're going to say Putman was in it, I do believe. And it's a two-point Lady Eagles lead now. Here's the serve once again. As it's high up in the air for Summertown. Putman underneath it. Atkins will send it over. Webb underneath it. Methin. Here's Fisher. She will get it over. Ruben underneath it. Putman will set it up. Here's Cornelius. Floats it over defense. Methin. Still up in the air, though. And back over. Great hustle by South Lawrence. As it looks good over. Tip by Augustine. Back over to South Lawrence. Pusser. Methin. There's Fisher now. And that point will go to South Lawrence. Great, great hustle by South Lawrence to keep that one in play. There's the serve by Pusser. It's high up in the air. Off the basketball goal, and it's tied up at 12, and we're going to have a timeout taken by Summertown as it's tied up at 12. We'll be back here on the Sports Network. For the best meal from south of the border, head to Cocina Real in Puente Grande for lunch and dinner. With a wide array of mouth-watering entrees, there is something for everyone on the menu. And you can't forget the cheese dip. They'll treat you like family, and you'll never leave hungry. Make Cocina Real Mexican Restaurant and Puente Grande Mexican Restaurant your choice for authentic cuisine. Located in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. This is the X Sports Network. And back here on the X Sports Network as Summertown has used their first time out of this second set as it's tied up at 12 after the Lady Stallions come back. Back to South Lawrence. Meffin will set it up. Augustine going for the kill. Pumping underneath it though. Rigsby will set it up. Here's Cornelius. She will send it right back over. Webb. Meffin now as Fisher looks to get it over. That's Putman underneath it. Here's Cornelius going for the kill. Methin with the save, though. There's Fisher. Augustine will send it back. Up in the air. Cornelius underneath it. Pettis will send it over. Fisher. As they set it up. Tries to find the gap. Still up in the air. Back to South Lawrence. Methin. Back and forth they go. Putman. And short of that, goes South Lawrence, and they take the lead. Good rally from both sides. Here comes the serve once again. There's Rupert underneath. Putman will set it up. Rupert mistimes it. Point will go to South Lawrence again. Here's the serve. It's up in the air as they set it up. Cornelius going for the kill. Augustine sends it right back though. Atkins now. Meffin underneath it. Atkins. Here's Cotton. Off of Pettis. Point will go to South Lawrence again. That was a good set by Augustine. Just kind of came in and set that one out of nowhere. There's Puster with the serve. And that'll be another ace off of Pettis. Ball goes South Lawrence as they jump out to a four-point lead. South Lawrence kind of getting on a run here. Summertown led big to start the second set. And we're going to have the second timeout by the Lady Eagles as they trail by five now. As we'll be back here on the Exports Network. 
There's no job too big or too small for Gonzales Lawn and Landscapes. Owner Chris Gonzales works hard to make your commercial or residential properties one of the neighbors will envy. You won't find a lower price anywhere else, and that's a guarantee. We offer mowing, landscape removal, small construction jobs, and more. Our team is licensed and insured to ensure the best work for Lawrence County and surrounding areas. Your satisfaction is our go. We won't leave until you're happy. Call today to set up a free quote. And welcome back. Summertown having to spend their two timeouts of the set quickly. And South Lawrence has caught fire. They trailed big to Summertown. All of a sudden, they lead 17 to 12. Pusser back to serve. Pettis underneath it. Back over to South Lawrence. Fisher, Meffin will set it up. Here's Augustine. She will send it right back over. And out of play, point will go to... Summertown, and they needed that one badly. Yeah, that timeout did its job. Kind of broke the momentum. Here's the serve by Rigsby. Meffin will set it up. Here's Fisher going for the kill. Ruber, Putman. Here's Cornelius. Look to float over defense, and point will go to Summertown again. Great job by Cornelius, able to find that gap right there, especially in a tight moment like this. Here's the serve. High up in the air. Augustine sends it right back. Pettis. There's Rubert. Still up in the air. Atkins. And they will set it up. Looking over is Cotton. High up in the air though. Putman. Cornelius will send it back over. Fisher now. Meffin will set it up. Here's Cotton going for it once again. Tip back. Still up in oh. the air. Back to Summertown. Putman. Cornelius goes back for it. Fisher. Methvin. Here's Fisher once again. Still up in the air. Putman sets it up. Cornelius goes for the kill once again. Fisher. Methvin sets it up. Tries to find the gap. Atkins. Putman. Back to Atkins. Goes for the kill. Shoulder net. Goes to South Lawrence. Augustine back to serve. Great hustle by both teams on that play. Somehow I just couldn't finish that one out. Here's the serve once again. Pettis, as they set it up. Cornelius floats it over defense. Cotton underneath the throws. Point will go to South Lawrence, as in the net was Cornelius. Five point South Lawrence lead. So here's the serve. They will get it over the net. And that's Rubert. They will set it up. Cornelius, still up in the air though. Meffin, back over to Summertown. They will set it up. Cornelius goes for the kill. Off of Cotton. Point will go to Lady Eagles this time. Good hit by Cornelius. I think she was able to use the blocker as help on that one. Here's the serve by Cornelius. She gets it over. Augustine underneath it. Meffin. Here's Fisher. She will send it back over to Summertown as they set it up. Pettis will give a free one back over. High up in the air. Off of Pettis. Point will go to Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant. South Lawrence. <laughs> it's been a long day here at Summertown. Here's the serve, just over the net. As it's high up in the air. And Robert will get it over Cotton. Meffin will set it up. Here's Fisher, she will send it back over to Summertown. As they set it up, here's Pettis in the middle, looks to get it over. Plus her underneath it, they will set it up. Here's Webb, she will send it back over. Still up in the air though, it's Putman. They send it back, Augustine. There's Meffin now. Fisher going for the kill, blocked by Pettis. And that one will go to the Lady Eagles. I have to say, Fisher does a great job of hitting most every ball she gets. I haven't seen her throw many free balls over. Back to serve, I believe that is Atkins. It is. It is. Here's the serve. It's up in the air. And Meffin sends it back. 
Still up in the air, back to South Lawrence. Augustine. There's Meffin. Fisher going for the kill. Long court goes to Summertown. Summertown seems to be getting on a roll right now. So here's the serve. It's up in the air. Meffin now. Fisher looks to get it over the defense. Still up in the air, and point will go to the Lady Stallions. 17 to 21 is the score. So that will check back in. South Lawrence four points away from closing off this set. So here's the serve. Up in the air, Pettis will send it back over. Augustine. As they look to get over, and down for the kill from Fisher. It's now 22. Izzy Methvin back to serve once again. And she will get it over the net. High up in the air. As they look to get it over. And Fisher down for another kill. It's 23 to 17. Summertown out of the timeouts. Two points away from closing this one out. Here's the serve. It's up in the air. They look to get it over. That'll be out of play. It's match point for South Lawrence. So here's the serve. It's up in the air and trying to make a play on it. Great hustle by Summertown to get that one in play. As they get it over, Pettis. Putman sets it up. Here's Pettis going for the kill and down for the point. That one goes to Summertown. Scores 24 to 19. Summertown trying to claw their way back into this one. Here's the serve. Meffin underneath it. Surratt will set it up. Here's Fisher floats it over the defense. Still up in the air though. Putman. As they try to get over the bay play, South Lawrence will take this one. As the Lay Stallions will win two sets to none. As they will move on to the next round, they will play the winner of this upcoming game with Lewis County as Kalioka. Summertown will play New Prospect at 3 o'clock. Ava Scott, what are your final thoughts for this game? Great game and great hustle by both teams. I see a lot of good plays on Summertown side and on South Lawrence side. South Lawrence just has all the players they need to have a great team, and Summertown does too. They just fell short this game. Absolutely. So both these teams still are in it. This is double elimination. And South Lawrence is in the semifinal now. As once again, they will take on the winner of the Cullioca Lewis County game. Summertown going to have to claw their way back to get to the championship as they will play New Prospect 3 o'clock. So that will do it for Hayden Burks, Ava Scott Garland, and Kevin Wright. We will see you here shortly. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.